Welcome inside the Provident Credit Union Event Center, where tonight we have a marquee matchup between the San Jose State Spartans and the Buffalo Bulls. Hello everyone, I'm Daniel Barrera, set to bring you another installment of San Jose State Women's Basketball, this time on YouTube. We thank all of you for joining us on that platform. San Jose State and Buffalo at the beginning of the season. Many prognosticators would not have thought this to be a marquee matchup, but boy has it turned into one. Buffalo enters this matchup 4-0, undefeated on the season, and they visit the Bay Area for a two-game swing, first here at San Jose State, and then on Sunday at nationally ranked Stanford. As for the Spartans, they enter this contest with a record of three and two. San Jose State has won two straight. They are playing well uh, also. And for San Jose State, the last two wins have been impressive. At UC Santa Barbara on the road, a 73 to 70 victory. And then back here at home on Sunday, the 17th of November, a 73 to 67 triumph over Sacramento State. Leading the way for San Jose State, it was Asiana Basalo. Basalo with a double-double on the night. She was seven of nine shooting against Sacramento State. 21 total points, 11 assists, and Basalo, the previous two games that San Jose State played, she had 20 point affairs on the road there. 26 in Santa Barbara in that victory, and then down the road in Santa Clara, Basalo, 29 points. Those three performances, good enough to get Basalo the Mountain West Conference Player of the Week. And for San Jose State, they take two out of three games. And really, San Jose State, they were in a position to win at Santa Clara as well. Their loss to UC Irvine, the opening game of the 2019-2020 campaign, they only lost by two. That came down to the final possession. So they were in a position to win there as well. So many... Uh, would argue that the Spartans should have been undefeated coming into this game as well, that they should be 5-0 and against the 4-0 Buffalo Bulls. Right now they stand at 3-2. and We mentioned Basalo. There were also contributions from Tyra Whitehead who tallied her third double-double of the season against Sacramento State. And then Razia Potter, she matched her career high of 17 points on seven of 13 shooting against the Hornets. So contributors from all over on the offensive end for San Jose State, and they've struggled with rebounding all season, but this last game against the Sacramento State Hornets, they only lost the rebounding battle by a margin of one. 37 to 36, San Jose State will need a similar performance tonight on the boards against this Buffalo Bulls team. Buffalo, as we mentioned, 4-0 if you count their exhibition contest against Mercy Hurst. They're 5-0, but the victories have come three at home, one on the road. The three home wins against Central Connecticut State to open things up, against Canisius, and then on Friday against Columbia. The one road victory and the one road game that the Bulls have played was against Niagara, and they won that one 81-67. So this is probably the first uh, really true test for Buffalo in terms of a, a road opponent. You have to go all the way across the country and you have to play a team that has really surprised some people in San Jose State. And then after that, you have to go to a very difficult opponent in Stanford up the road in Palo Alto. So we'll see if Buffalo uh, can maintain their winning ways and their undefeated streak on the line here this evening. And for Buffalo, they also have a reigning player of the week. DeAsia Fair, the guard for the Bulls, she's averaging 26 points on the season, shooting at a 41.7% clip. She also averages five rebounds a game and 4.8 assists per game. Fair will be one of the big time contributors for the Bulls, we suspect, this evening, and she is the reigning Mac player of the week. Also leading the way for the Buffalo Bulls 
is Theresa Onwuka. Onwuka averaging 22.3 points per game, 7 rebounds per game, and she's also averaging 3 steals per game. So she is a turnover-creating machine. Onwuka, another guard. And then there's Hannah Hall, the third scoring threat for Buffalo. 9.3 points per game, 4 rebounds per game, and 2.8 assists per game. She's shooting at a rate of 34.3%. So it's fair on Wuka and Hall. Those are the primary threats for Buffalo. And you figure if you're San Jose State, if you can shut down one of those three players, more than likely one of the two, a fair or on Wuka, then you're going to have a very good chance to win the ball game. And for San Jose State, they will most likely try and neutralize the touches from uh, Onwuka or Fair. So it'll be interesting to see if they're able to do that. And also the rebounding that we spoke about with San Jose State struggling. Buffalo averaging 41 rebounds per game. San Jose State only averaging 32. And part of the reason for that, the Bulls, they just have a lot of size. Nine players on the roster for Buffalo are six foot or above. So San Jose State will be a bit undersized. We'll see how they try and neutralize that disadvantage. And uh, hopefully they can come out with another solid rebounding performance like they did against Sacramento State. So uh, this is the first ever matchup between these two teams. San Jose State and Buffalo have never met before. And for San Jose State, they'll look to continue their winning ways going for three straight wins and after San Jose State plays Buffalo tonight they go up against San Diego the Toreros on Saturday so really if you take care of Buffalo tonight a, a good opportunity to have a 3-0 homestand and then win four straight going on the road for a two game stretch one of those two games will be a conference affair against Utah State the conference uh, scheduling format, they start with a couple conference games mixed into the non-conference schedule, and then after that, they go back to non-conference play again before starting up conference play in the new year. So crucial for the Spartans to get these non-conference wins, and this non-conference win could be big in the eyes of a selection committee. We're a long way away from that. It's very early in the season, but if San Jose State continues to impress as they have early on, uh, the conversation may become uh, more serious as we go. So the Spartans and the Bulls, they're getting set for action. We're about five or six minutes away from the starting lineups being introduced and about 10 minutes away from the opening tip. We will have a pregame interview with San Jose State assistant coach Ari Weidman. She'll talk about the last game at Sacramento State. She'll talk about this upcoming matchup with Buffalo, what it means for this season, what it means for tonight, and uh, lots of more insight from assistant coach Weidman when we return. So stay tuned for that. This is San Jose State women's basketball on YouTube.
Welcome back to the Provident Credit Union Event Center. Daniel Barrera here with you. We are pregame for San Jose State and Buffalo. And before we get to the uh, starting lineups and the opening tip, we'll go ahead and play you a pregame interview that we had with Ari Weidman, the assistant coach for San Jose State. She'll talk about the previous San Jose State game and this matchup tonight. Here's our conversation with Ari Weidman. Spartan fans, I'm here with Ari Weidman, the assistant coach for the San Jose State Spartans. And coach, uh, an impressive week for you guys. Went one and one on a road trip and then won your last game against Sacramento State. Asiana Vasallo was a big part of that, the Mountain West Player of the Week. She had a double-double against Sacramento State. Just your general thoughts on her game last week. Shauna did a great job last week in, in leading us. Um, she's she works. She's the hardest worker I've been around. Um, so she deserves everything <laughs> that she's getting. And it's because she's put in the reps. And, and this is natural. When you watch her, it's it's poetry in motion because she does everything at the same speed. Everything looks the same as when she does it. If it's by herself, you know, in a drill, or, and it just translates. So we're all really proud of her. We were used to seeing Asiana as a scorer earlier on. But then she drops 11 assists. <laughs> Is that going to be a facet of her game going forward, you think? Yeah, from Asiana, she's a point guard first. So she's always looking to create for others, and she sees a couple plays ahead. But she's got a hunter shot. That's part of her system. She's got to look to score. But if she has a double, she's going to hit, and she's going to find somebody. So I, I think you might see a few more double-doubles, you know, points and assists for her. Another newcomer for you guys, Tyra Whitehead, another double-double for her. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about her game and just the keys to her consistency? That's her third double-double of the season already. Ty's, Ty's a great player. She's very smart. She's physical, so she helps us you know, with rebounding, which we, we lacked the last couple of years. Uh, she's got great touch around the rim. And you know, since she can extend out to about 15, 17 feet, and she, she works on her game a lot too. So she's, she's been efficient so far. And I think that she was a great addition to add in the in last spring. We talked about the bench earlier and the lack of bench points, but one thing that wasn't lacking in the last game was the production on the boards. Courtesy Clark, five rebounds. Sydney Lewis, eight rebounds. How important is that to have the other bigs behind Tyra be able to clean up the glass a little bit? As you mentioned, that's something that the team has struggled with. Yeah, rebounding's crucial, so we need those guys like Clark and and, and Lewis to rebound for us and know that that's valued because we, we can't win unless we rebound. <laughs> you know, so we need everyone to contribute and buy into their role. So defense and rebounding are things that we need, it, even if our bench isn't scoring. Rosia Potter, she had a rough road trip, but then in the game against Sacramento State, got back on track, 17 points, and then faced with almost a full week off. Does that help or hurt Rosia, you think? that she had that bounce back game and then all of a sudden she has a layoff again. <laughs> I think I think it helps her. Rosie, since she plays so fast and she's so physical, a little break is nice for her body, but she's great in transition. So that Sac State got her confidence up because she was able to, to get downhill and get to the rim, which is where she's best. You guys are going to go up against a Buffalo squad that is undefeated. They run their offense through De'Asia Fair, uh, Teresa and Wuka, two guards. Is the key to victory simply shutting one of those two scorers down? They both average over 20. Yeah, the key to our game is going to be to limit their touches. And if they do get the ball, then make each shot tough for them. They're 65% of their offense, so if we can make their role players take some shots that they're not used to taking or more, then that's better for us. We definitely want to limit the touches of those two. Fair, the reigning MAC East Player of the Week. And then you have Onwuka, who we mentioned. And then Hannah Hall, she also averages around 10 points mm -hmm. a game. But you guys have guards of your own. You've got Basalo, Marquez, Potter, Hafoka. Is it exciting to go into a matchup like that where it's two marquee backcourts going head-to-head? -head? Is it nerve-wracking as a coach? Is it both? What is it? <laughs> yes, this game will be fun. I think it's a good matchup for us, both really guard-dominant teams. So they'll have to hold their own, <laughs> you know, against us defensively, and then we'll have to we'll have to contain those guys. And then we've got a good inside presence. So with with Ty inside, we have, you know it'd be really good if we can play inside outside. But our pace is very similar. They want to 
you know, score fast. They run a matchup, so 90 possessions a game, and we do try to get that much. So it'll be a fast-paced game of tempo. So it should be a lot of scoring tomorrow night. Back to the rebounding, Buffalo averages 41 rebounds per game. You guys only 32. How do you close that gap? How do you how do you lessen that margin? And can you still win if you're not able to decrease that margin there? Yes, for us, that's a non-negotiable for this game. You have to block out, and it's going to be – it's not just one-on-one. -on -one. Everyone has to help each other out and get out of their area. Um, this is a team that it would be very difficult to beat if we don't rebound because at times offensive rebounds, you know, that can be their best offense. So, um, but if we – we'd have to shoot incredibly well <laughs> from the three-point line if we don't rebound. But that is something we've talked about the last few days is rebounding, and they know we have to do that. One of the reasons I suspect why they're such a good rebounding team is because of their length and their size. Nine players on their roster at six feet or above. How do you neutralize that? How do you get around that? Without giving away too much, of course, uh, of the <laughs> game plan. For us, we've, we've always been an undersized team, especially in the Mountain West, so we have to, to combat that with playing fast. And we think that we you know, can have success in transition against them. That will be the separator. So we've got to really push it and try to play fast and make those bigs run a little bit. You mentioned the three-point shooting. <laughs> Buffalo not as prolific as you guys, 30% from the field. It's, it's about average. Mm -hmm. You guys are shooting almost 40% from beyond the arc. How important is it to maintain that efficiency from beyond the arc against a team like this that has so much size and, as you were saying, scoring in transition? Mm -hmm. It's, it's crucial. So we're going to have to push in transition. We're going to have to stay wide because they run a matchup zone and, and be ready to shoot, catch and shoot. And then driving kick will be big for us. As long as we can try to engage two people and find our shooters, we have kids that will knock it down. You know, that's a, that's a huge part of our system is shooting threes. So everyone's got to be hunting their shot tomorrow night. And we have one more for assistant coach Ari Weidman of the San Jose State Spartans. Buffalo's undefeated. Some would argue that you guys perhaps should be undefeated if not for a few sequences here or there in the two losses. Mm -hmm. How big is this game? Is this the biggest game that the club has played this season thus far? Yes. Well, we want to approach – we always approach every game as 1-0, but this is a marquee matchup for us. It, if we win this game, this will put our program on the map. They've been to the NCAA tournament, you know, one game. This is where we want to be. And this would be a great game for the committee if we want to get postseason play. So the girls know that this is a this would put our program on the map. So it's very important, and we're going to treat it as such and be prepared for it. A follow up to that: generally, the Mountain West, it's whoever wins the conference tournament, they get the automatic bid, and then that's pretty much it. But does the coaching staff feel like a win against Buffalo tomorrow, perhaps, if you guys don't win the conference tournament or, or don't have a regular season title, perhaps a, a game such as this, a win such as uh, one against Buffalo, could make you guys a bubble team where you, where you sneak in there at the end? Definitely. We think that with Buffalo's, you know, they have the respect of the, the committee. So it, it could get you in there as a bubble and, you know, or even if it's postseason play, WNIT, you know, they see these those as, as a big win, you know, because they've had so much success. So um, we know that, and we want to get to postseason play, so we want to take care of business with them. All right, well, Ari Weidman, we also hope you take care of business with them, as do all the other Spartan supporters uh, across the uh, Bay Area, California, and around the world. Uh, best of luck tomorrow. Definitely. Thank you. Spartan up. So that was assistant coach Ari Weidman for the San Jose State Spartans. We thank her for her time, uh, pre-game with us. And uh, now we're, we're just about set to go. Let's get you the starting lineups. First for the visiting Buffalo Bulls. DeAsia Fair, Hannah Hall, and Teresa Onwuka, the three scoring threats. They are all in the lineup, in the starting lineup and they're all listed as guards. So they'll go with a three guard, two forward set. The two forwards, Lauren Christie and Adibola Adiyeye. The two forwards for Buffalo. And for San Jose State, who's being introduced right now to the hometown crowd, a familiar starting five, Razia Potter, Asiana Basalo, 
Fiamea Hafoka, Megan Anderson, four guards for the Spartans, and the lone forward, kind of a forward center type, Tyra Whitehead is in the middle for San Jose State. So this will be a battle of the guards here. Guard play will be huge, but also big for San Jose State. Their ability to be able to box out and get the rebounds. This, probably the biggest game of the season so far for San Jose State. Is this team for real? We should find out by the end of tonight. Whitehead will jump it up with Christie in the middle. Buffalo in the blue road uniforms. San Jose State in the home grays. And we are underway. The opening tip goes to the Spartans. Hofoka defers to Basalo right away. And now Basalo on the right wing. Right-handed dribble to the right mid post. Kicks it to Whitehead, swings it over to Hofoka on the left side and the pass too high and it goes out of bounds. A turnover for San Jose State and we still have no score here. 9.45 to go in the first quarter. Now Buffalo Hall to Fair on the right side of the arc. On Wuka with a gallop step dribble, gives to Hall. It's back to Fair on the right wing. Fair tries a crossover dribble, loses the ball. Potter on the deck with Tafoka, and the ball squirts out of bounds on the far sideline. It remains with Buffalo. 11 seconds left on the shot clock. 9.29 left here in the first. We're just underway. Fair, the trigger man from the far sideline. Soft pass to Hall, back to Fair in the right corner. On Wuka, goes to the left box. On Wuka, the layup in and out. And out the back baseline, it is off San Jose State. So Buffalo will get 20 seconds now on the shot clock. Fair inbounds again, this time from the back baseline. Chest pass to Hall on the right wing. Christie just south of the free throw line. Back to Hall, overhead lob, intercepted by Whitehead. San Jose State back the other way. Basalo kicks back to Anderson, a three. That's an air ball from the left wing. And the loose ball taken by Adeyeye, but Eziano Basalo there to take it away on a lazy pass by Buffalo, and the Spartans are on the board first. Two nothing, a minute gone by. Potter got another interception, but then threw it back away to Fair, and Buffalo gets possession right back. Now it's to Christie in between the rings. Hall on the right side. Hall goes to the right corner. Baseline right, kicks it to Christie. Left corner three, that rattles in and out. But the rebound by Anwuka, and she's there to clean it up on the left box. And we are tied at two. 8.27 to go in the first quarter between San Jose State and Buffalo. Whitehead now on the right elbow to Anderson. Potter in the left corner, puts the ball on the deck with the right-handed dribble, drives to the mid post on the left side and is fouled by, it looks like Christie. No, it's going to be on Adeyeye. So that's Adeyeye's first foul. Hannah Hall checks out. And checking in for her is Ariel Dixon. Kiola Walters checks in for Adieye. So quick substitutions with 8.17 to go in the first quarter. Anderson in between the rings. Now Basalo on the right side for the Spartans. Right handed dribble, low into the deck. Shovels it over to Hafoka. Hafoka. With a bounce pass to Whitehead. Whitehead shoots the floater from about 12 feet in the middle of the paint. And she hits San Jose State up four to two. Two minutes gone by in the first quarter. And Whitehead forces the turnover as she steals it, bats the ball over to Anderson. San Jose State with it. Anderson now on the right wing. Basalo, left-handed dribble, stops, pops from just south of the free throw line on the right side and it's too hard off the back iron. Buffalo back with it. Dixon to Christie, now fair, bounce pass to Dixon who will set things up. Defers to Walters. And now ending up with it is on Wuka and they find Walters on the right box and she finishes with a baby hook shot. All knotted up at four here, 7-11 left in the first. Potter, hook pass to Whitehead to the left box. 
too hard off the glass, did not hit rim. Buffalo back with it. Dixon got away with a push off there on Basalo as she stopped the dribble. Now to the left wing, goes to the left elbow. Her shot too hard off back iron. Megan Anderson with the rebound. San Jose State will slow things down. Basalo walks it up past the timeline. Now on the logo, defended by Fair. Crossover, dribble, goes right by her. Not able to finish the layup. Too hard off the back iron. Fair with it for Buffalo. Fair, crossover dribble of her own, almost lost it, but kicks it to Walters on the right side and the jumper good from about 15 feet. Walters has come into the game off the bench and she's got four of the Bulls' six points early on. 6.18 to go here in the first. Rosia Potter now with it for San Jose State. Can't get the layup. Whitehead there to clean things up on the left side of the lane. And Whitehead also with four points. And we're tied at six with six minutes to go. Christie hoists a three from the right wing, and that's an air ball. But the Spartans do not get the board. And Fair makes them pay with a three from the left angle. So Fair on the board, nine to six. Buffalo leads San Jose State, 5.45 left. Basalo for the Spartans, her shot too hard off the rim. And Whitehead almost had another turnover. Buffalo and Christie, they end up getting the rebound. Now Fair, left free throw line extended. Dixon in between the circles, overhead heaved pass. It finds Christie in the middle of the lane and she is mugged just outside the restricted area. She went to put up a shot and that foul on Rosia Potter. And the Spartans will have substitutions here. Anderson and Whitehead sit down. Benali checks in with Sydney Lewis. Two shots upcoming for Christie. First one, two rotations and two short off the front of the iron. It remains nine to six. Buffalo leads San Jose State, 5.26 to go in the first quarter. Christie, second free throw, swish. Christie on the board. Christie on the season, shooting 75% from the line before that trip. More substitutions for the Spartans. Harris checks in as well as Danae Marquez. So on the floor for the Spartans now, it's Marquez, Potter, Harris, Benali, and Lewis, here's Benali in between the rings. Marquez, left wing, stops at the left elbow, shoots too hard off the heel of the rim again, rebounded by Anwuka, and she's fouled by Marquez. So that's Marquez's first foul. 10 to six, Buffalo leads San Jose State, just over five minutes to play in the opening quarter. Christie in between the circles. And she walks right through the lane. Boy, that was maybe one step, two step, three step, four. And uh, that was as clear as day, traveling through the lane by Christie. And that brings us to our first stoppage. Five minutes even to go here in the first quarter. Buffalo leads San Jose State 10 to six. Stay with us. You're watching San Jose State women's basketball on YouTube. Welcome back to the Provident Credit Union Event Center. Daniel Barrera here with you, San Jose State and Buffalo. 
in action tonight. The Bulls lead the Spartans 10 to six. And Buffalo right now, five second chance points, only two for San Jose State. So already we're seeing that reoccurring theme where the Spartans just not able to limit the second chances. It's early, but something that they must clean up. The Spartans also only shooting 30% from the field. Buffalo is hitting one of every two shots and there's a turnover for San Jose State. Back the other way on Wuka, mugged by Clark on the foul there, the drive to the hoop. And on Wuka will have to earn it from the line. So that foul on Clark. And now on Wuka. First free throw. Rattles in and out. On Wuka, a rare miss there, 88% from the charity stripe this season. And she makes one of two. 11 to six, Buffalo leads San Jose State. Marquez now, right-handed dribble for the Spartans, kicks it to the right corner. Benali the three off the right side of the iron, but Marquez tracks down the offensive board on the left wing, kicks out to Benali. Another three, top of the key. Annalise Benali, welcome back to the court. Benali's first bucket of the season, and it's 11 to nine. Buffalo leads San Jose State. And the Spartans needed that. Now Buffalo back with it. Fair, a three from the left angle. Swish. Asia Fair was given some separation and she did the most with it. 14 to nine, Buffalo leads San Jose State. Just over four minutes to play in the first. Sydney Lewis drives baseline left and draws the blocking foul on Walters the shot attempt, it went over the hoop, but Lewis will have an opportunity to earn her points from the line. So, Sydney Lewis to the line, shooting only 60% from the free throw line this season. First one is a brick off the back iron. Spartan's a pretty good free throw shooting team. So Lewis has struggled, there's a second free throw. And that is good. So Lewis gets a proper rotation and follow through and gets the shot to fall. Harris and Clark check out for San Jose State. Hafoka and Whitehead check back in. 14 to 10, Buffalo leads San Jose State. Just under four minutes to play in the first quarter. Deja Fair left wide open in the left corner. She puts the ball on the deck when she really shouldn't have. And then Hannah Hall ends up picking up the three. 17 to 10, Buffalo leads San Jose State and Fair called for the hand check foul on Danae Marquez. So that's the first foul on Fair. More substitutions, Marquez checks out. We'll reset lineups in a moment. Basalo inbounds for the Spartans from the near sideline in front of Buffalo's bench. Afoka, nice pass to Whitehead who just can't finish on the right box. Buffalo with the rebound. Seven point ball game. The Bulls lead the Spartans here on the road. 3.20 about to go in the first quarter. Hall in between the rings finds Christie. Right side jumper is off the mark from about 17 feet. Buffalo, another rebound though. Christie, two on Wuka, the three from the right corner, it's good. 20 to 10, Buffalo up by 10. Here's Afoka, the three from the left angle, that's off the mark. Buffalo with the rebound again. Hall racing ahead, leaves it for Christie. Christie. Passes down low to Unwuka. Unwuka with a scoop layup around Sydney Lewis. And head coach Jamie Craighead wants time for the Spartans. 22 to 10. Buffalo on an 8 0 run the last minute and seven seconds. And the Bulls outrunning and outgunning the Spartans right now. They lead 22 to 10. 2.45 to go in the first quarter. Looking at some of these numbers, well, Buffalo is just shooting the ball at 
an impressive clip, 62% from the field. They're shooting even better from beyond the arc, 67%. 11 rebounds for Buffalo, only three for San Jose State. And if you want to win a game against a team as skilled as the Buffalo Bulls, that can't happen. And it's been the Achilles heel for the Spartans all season, the second chance points in the rebounding. They have to get it fixed, and they have to get it fixed sooner rather than later. Back to live action, Marquez on the right side, bounce pass to Whitehead down low in the restricted area, and Whitehead fights through to get the two points through the double team, 22 to 12. Buffalo up over San Jose State, 225 to go in the first quarter. The Bulls back with it, Christie south of the free throw line, goes to the right mid post, goes all the way to the right box, cannot get the layup to fall, and Marquez on the rebound for San Jose State. Runs and guns to Basalo. Over to Hafoka, now finds Whitehead. Top of the key jumper, swish. Tyra Whitehead. Tyra Whitehead. The last four points for the Spartans and they pull within eight with under two minutes to play in the first quarter. Fair in between the rings, holds. Chest pass to Christie on the left angle. Now it's on Wuka, drives, middle of the paint. The jumper from eight feet, too hard off the backboard and iron. And now Hafoka with the rebound for San Jose State. Crossover dribble by Hafoka. Goes to the left side. Back to the left, another crossover. Hook pass to Anderson on the right side of the arc. Basalo, top of the key. Basalo will drive herself. Step back jumper, she's got the bucket. Asiana Basalo with a little dance in the paint and the step back 14 footer is pure. 22 to 16, Buffalo leads San Jose State. About 75 seconds left in the first. Fair with it for Buffalo. Now Hall over to Christie on the right side of the arc. Christie travels on great defense there by Megan Anderson. Christie tried to draw the foul, falling into Anderson, but the refs did not bite. Hafoka now checks out. Rosia Potter checks back in. Hamilton also checks in for Buffalo. San Jose State on a 6-0 run the last almost 100 seconds. Here's Basala with it for San Jose State. Gives a pass to Potter. Potter goes up, draws the blocking foul on Eddie Yeye on the right box. And Potter, she misses the layup but will go to the line for two shots. On the floor for Buffalo, it's Fair, Hall, Onwuka, Eddie Yeye, and Hamilton. For San Jose State, it's Potter, Basalo, Whitehead, Marquez, and Anderson. Potter, a 59% free throw shooter. And that one rattles in and out and then back down and in. So the shooters bounce for Potter there. 22 to 17, Buffalo still on top, 57.9 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Second free throw rattles home, two for two is Rosia Potter. And what was a 12 point deficit has now turned back down to a four point deficit as the Spartans on an 8-0 run. Buffalo back with it, Hall, right side to Fair at the point position. On Wuka to the left box, kicks out to Fair. Launches a triple and that dead ends off the side of the rim but Buffalo another offensive rebound. Onwuka goes outside the arc on the left side. Finds Hamilton on the left baseline. Seven on the shot clock. Onwuka wide open and she hits the triple. So Onwuka gets the three, 25-18. San Jose State back the other way. Basalo not able to get the shot to go down. And Rosia Potter called for a foul. 12.1 seconds left in the first quarter. Shot clock has been turned off. 25 to 18. Buffalo leads San Jose State. And now five seconds to go as we're back underway. Hall, bounce pass, Hamilton, the three. Top of the key, won't go. Whitehead secures the board, and that ends the first quarter. So San Jose State, they were down by 12, made a run to bring it within four, and now back down by seven 
as we've played 10 minutes here from the Provident Credit Union Event Center. 25 to 18, Buffalo leads San Jose State. Stay with us, more San Jose State women's basketball coming up on YouTube after this. Second quarter, about to get underway. Buffalo and San Jose State. The Bulls lead the Spartans 25 to 18. We are back underway. Fair with it for Buffalo. To Hall in the right corner. Hamilton, top of the key. Tries a letter high pass to Walters. And the ball out of bounds. Hafoka tried to dive and save it on the back baseline, could not. Ball off San Jose State, 16 on the shot clock, fair to inbound from the near back baseline. Finds on Luca, back to Hall in between the rings. And down underneath, Walters able to get it to go, the four foot tur turnaround jumper. And the Bulls back up by nine, 27-18. Now San Jose State with it, Hafoka to the left elbow. Bounce pass to Marquez, tries the extra pass to Whitehead. And Whitehead is fouled on the right box as she goes up for the shot. And the foul on Hannah Hall, quite the contrast. Hall, the five foot three guard, fouling the six foot three Whitehead. Marquez open for a three, too hard off the back iron. Whitehead skies for the rebound though. San Jose State keeps possession momentarily. And it's a, looks like it's going to be a held ball situation. Whitehead tried to rip the ball away, but uh, Onwuka would not relinquish possession. And the held ball situation results in Spartan ball. Basalo kicks out to Clark. Marquez to set up, top the key over to Clark. Afoka, left wing three, and that's a brick. Off the right back, right side of the backboard. Now on Wuka back with it for San Jose State, and a blocking foul called on Hafoka as on Wuka was attacking at the rim. Missed the layup. That's the first personal foul on Hafoka. Anderson and Banali to enter again. Marquez checks out, and Clark also checks out. 27 to 18, Buffalo leads San Jose State. Nine minutes even to go in the first half. On Luka's first free throw is pure. Buffalo now up by 10. Second free throw for Luka. That finds the home. And 29 to 18 now. Potter checks in for Hafoka. Now Basalo will jog it up the court for San Jose State. Spartans down by 11, under nine minutes to go in the first half. Potter, Benali, right of the point position. Now a lob pass into Whitehead in the middle of the paint. Potter with it, baseline left drive, too strong. Whitehead cleans it up from the right side, off the glass and in. Tyra Whitehead, 10 points already for the Spartans. 10 points and four rebounds. 
She already has three double doubles this season. She may be on her way to a fourth. Now Buffalo with it, Fair, right side of the arc. And Fair almost lost the dribble there, defended by Anderson. No one picks up Fair, and she has a wide open three, not able to convert. Basalo cannot secure the loose ball. And a foul called on Basalo. Wow, what a disastrous sequence right there for the Spartans. It looked like Basalo was the one that got shoved to the hardwood, but she gets called for the foul. And that could have been avoided had the Spartans just uh, secured the rebound. Anna Hall now to Fair. Eight minutes even to go in the second quarter. The Bulls lead the Spartans by nine. Fair passes inside to Walters. And the turnaround baby hook is good. Walters with eight points here. And the Bulls up 31 to 20, 7.42 to go in the second quarter. There's Whitehead on the left side and Whitehead finishes off the glass and in. Well, this uh, San Jose State crowd, kind of a hushed response right now. On Wuka, the jumper from the middle of the paint and she hits. And on Wuka with 15 already. Anderson back the other way, the three, she's got the bucket, and she's fouled. From the left corner. The Spartans really needed a boost in the offensive category as Whitehead checks out, Lewis back in. And they can maybe get a four point play out of this. Here it is, Anderson completes the four point play. So the Spartans right back within seven. 33-26, 7-10 to go in the fourth quarter. And Benali deflects the ball out of bounds right in front of us on press row. Buffalo keeps possession. Hall to Fair, Fair. Three from the left angle, she's got it. Well, Benali went to go help out on Hall and Fair ended up being wide open. 36 to 26, the Bulls lead the Spartans. Under seven minutes to play in the half. Potter, left-handed dribble, tried a little uh, shovel pass to Lewis, but it was off target and Buffalo gets the ball back. Fair, open again, and Fair stepped out of bounds. So San Jose State will get the ball back. Deja Fair, nine points already. Three of four from downtown in 13 minutes. Basalo with it now for the Spartans. Basalo left-handed dribble through the lane. Off the window and in. And Basalo's got six. 36 to 28. The Bulls lead the Spartans. Fair on the left side. Drives to the right. Kicks back to Hall. The three by Hall left of the point position. And she hits from downtown. 39 to 28. Buffalo leads San Jose State. Just over six minutes to play. Both teams four for their last four and field goals. Here's Benali's three. She's got the triple from the right side. Annalise Benali with her second three of the game. 39 to 31. The Bulls lead the Spartans. 5.45 to go in the first half. Hall on the left side, left-handed dribble. Stops for Fair in between the rings. Fair gets around a pick. Elbow jumper on the right side won't go. Unwuka ends up being fouled by Potter on the loose ball. So that's Potter's second foul. That's her third foul, pardon me. Boy, that's gonna be big if, if Potter cannot stay on the floor. Benali and Potter sub out for the Spartans. Hafoka and Marquez back in. Eight point advantage for the Bulls. This is back baseline heave and it goes over the head of Walters but it's off the fingertips of Hafoka. And Buffalo keeps possession. And now Fair will inbound from in front of the Spartan bench. Defended by Marquez, she gets it into Onwuka on the left corner. Onwuka backing in on the left mid post. Oh, finds Walters underneath, look out. Sydney Lewis goes up and over Walters. 
underneath the low back and Sydney Lewis is going to uh, take a moment to get up. She looks to be okay, hops right back up now. And that foul was on Lewis. Over pursued there. And Walters will go to the line. So Walters gets two shots. And Walters, only a 37.5% free throw shooter. And the first one up and good. Nine points for Walters. She'll look to make it two for two from the line. She does. 41-31, Buffalo back up by 10 over San Jose State. Five and a half minutes left in the first half. Basalo to Marquez on the right wing. Basalo left-handed dribble, hip high. Hands off to Hafoka. Hafoka just weaves between two defenders. Her jumper, though, too strong. Off the back right of the iron, Buffalo back with it. The Spartans just not able to hit the shots consistently. Hamilton doesn't hit the shot on the other end for Buffalo, though, as it toilet bowls in and out. Lewis to Hafoka. San Jose State back with it. Under five minutes to play in the second quarter. Lewis, the right elbow, holds. Left-handed dribble. Kicks out to Anderson. Left corner three. She's got the triple. Megan Anderson, Megan Anderson left open. And she scores easily. 41-34. to 34. Buffalo leads San Jose State, 4.30 to go in the first half. Hall to Onwuka, left box, Onwuka, shot contested by Lewis, and Anderson ends up with the rebound for San Jose State. Basalo racing ahead, and Basalo just a sloppy pass to Anderson. And do we have a held ball situation there? What was the ruling? I believe it may have been a held ball situation, so we'll see who has possession when we return. But with 4.17 to go in the first half, Buffalo leads San Jose State 41 to 34. Stay with us. More San Jose State women's basketball coming up on YouTube. Four seventeen left in the first half. 41 to 34, Buffalo leads San Jose State. Daniel Barrera here with you on YouTube. The Spartans, six for their last seven, but they still trail by seven. Buffalo plus seven in the rebounding category. Not only that, but Buffalo is shooting 51% for the game. So uh, the Spartans, even though they have brought the offense as of late, just not able to close the gap all that much. Basalo, step back jumper from the left elbow, short off the front of the rim, and a foul called. Who's it on? Is it on Hafoka? They call a push off. It is on Hafoka. Well, they call her for the, for the push off, I assume. I did not see a push, but uh, Hafoka will sub out. And in for her is Kalina Obre. So Obre 
the freshman from Honolulu checks in. Fair gets two shots for Buffalo. First one up and good. And DeAsia Fair now in double digits, 10 points on the evening. 42 to 34, second free throw off the mark. Basalo with the rebound, races past Fair. Kicks it to Anderson, Anderson left corner three again and that's off the front side of the iron. San Jose State back with it. Fair will set things up from the logo for Buffalo. The Bulls in front of the Spartans by eight. 340 to go in the second quarter. Fair, left wing three, too hard off back iron. Basalo runs into Hall in pursuit of the loose ball. And there's no foul, out of bounds, it's Buffalo basketball. Fair, will inbound to Onwuka. Hall now to set things up near midcourt. Over to Christie, two dribbles, stops, and an overhead pass to Walters on the right baseline and she buries the 10 foot jumper. 10 point lead for Buffalo again, just over three minutes left in the first half. Whitehead now on the left elbow for San Jose State and her shot is Aaron. Off the right side of the backboard and rim. Buffalo back with it. Hall to set things up again. Big pick by Walters. Clears the way for Hall, kicked out to Fair, left corner three and it's good from downtown. Fair with 13 points. And she is four of six from beyond the arc. The Bulls now up by 13. Basalo comes back with a right side jumper. That won't go, and Buffalo with another rebound. Two and a half minutes to play in the first half. Fair on the right wing to Christie, top of the key. Hall, two on Wuka, left side, Christie. Goes from the right mid post to the right box, out of bounds. Deflected off San Jose State, and it's Buffalo basketball. Benali checks out, Marquez checks back in for the Spartans. San Jose State needs some type of a spark. They're 0 for their last four. Buffalo on a 6-0 run. Walters puts the ball on the deck, kicked out to Hall. Now Fair in between the rings. Left-handed dribble, and Fair not called for a double dribble there as the shot clock expired. And then on the deck goes Obre and Fair going for the loose ball. And the foul on Obre. So Obre gets called for the foul. And she checks out. Sydney Lewis checks in for her. Fair at the line for two shots as the Bulls now in the bonus. The first free throw in and out, so Fair can't hit. Well, Buffalo, 64% from the line tonight. Second free throw by Fair is good, but if you're Buffalo and you, you can't hit the, uh, the shots at the free throw line, you run the risk of letting San Jose State creep back into this game. Ariel Dixon checks in for Fair, who is having her elbow looked at after she crashed to the floor of the last possession. And Anderson is fouled by, is it Hannah Hall? It is actually Dixon called for the foul. Back to live action, Tyra Whitehead receives the inbounds pass and Hits the turnaround jumper for San Jose State. And the Spartans down by 12. Under two minutes to play in the first half. 48 to 36. Buffalo leads San Jose State. Hall. Back out to Onwuka. Pump fake. Onwuka goes through the lane. Tried to draw a foul. Did not. Lewis gets the board. And now Basalo to Marquez. Right side. Goes to the left. Kicks out to Lewis, the three. That's way off target. The right side of the backboard did not hit rim. Buffalo back with it. And 
We have an offensive foul away from the ball. Offensive foul is on number and one. And that's on Lauren Christie. Christie. That's Christie's first foul. Now Basalo jogs it up for the Spartans. Right-handed dribble to the right box. She is fouled on the layup attempt that is short. And Basalo will go to the line. And that foul on Ariel Dixon. That's Dixon's second foul, the fifth team foul for the Bulls. 48 to 36. Buffalo leads San Jose State, a minute eight to go in the first half. First free throw by Basalo is good. Basalo's got seven on the night. Second free throw. That's pure. Eight points for Basalo. Well, just looking at the scoreboard, 48 to 30, 38 with a minute eight to go in the first half. 48 points, that's too many for one half. And it's not over yet. Still 60 seconds to go. Fair in the left corner. She checks back into the game for Buffalo. Now Christie with it. Over to Onwuka in the right corner. Hall will slow things down. Fair on the left side. Right-handed dribble. Basalo gets run over by Christie away from the ball. No call there. Onwuka, the offensive board, can't finish. Walters, another offensive rebound, can't finish. Another offensive rebound by Walters. It's kicked out to Christie. Hall with it. Holds for fair. So this will be the fourth chance for Buffalo. And that won't go. Finally, the Spartans get the rebound. Lewis to Marquez. Marquez stops at the free throw line. Back to Basalo. Left wing three. And she's got the bucket. 48-41, the Spartans within seven. Shot clock's been turned off. Seven seconds to go in the half. Fair likely to take the last shot. Here she drives to the right side. Step back three at the horn, and that's up over the hoop. And we have reached halftime. So Buffalo leads San Jose State 48-41. to San Jose State finished the half on a 7-0 run. But uh, Buffalo shooting 50% from three. And the Spartans are probably fortunate that the game is as close as it is. Halftime here from the Provident Credit Union Event Center. Stay with us. We'll have first half stats and analysis when we return. This is San Jose State Women's Basketball on the Mountain West Network. Halftime here from the Provident Credit Union Event Center. Daniel Barrera with you. San Jose State women's basketball on YouTube. And San Jose State, they trail the Buffalo Bulls by a score of 48 to 41. For the game, the Spartans uh, shooting pretty, pretty good. 42.9% from the field. 
just under 40% from three, but their opponents shooting 43% from the field, 50% from three, and that really has, has been the difference. Not only that, but the rebounding totals. Buffalo is plus 12 on the rebounds. They've got 25, the Spartans only 13. That in turn has led to 16 second chance points for Buffalo, more than double that of San Jose State, only seven. So the Spartans really have to have to uh, clean that up, per se. And uh, the Spartans, they're taking care of the ball, only three turnovers, Buffalo with seven. But the Spartans kind of conceding the three right now, uh, in playing their, their zone, and really, the Bulls are, are making the Spartans pay. De'Asia Fair, four of seven from downtown. 11, uh, plus 11 player rating, 14 points for her. And then Teresa Onwuka, five of 10 from the field, two of two from downtown, 15 points for her. And then Kiowa Walters, 12 points for her on five of six from the field. So those are the three leading scorers for Buffalo. For San Jose State, 14 points from Tyra Wright Whitehead. She leads the way for the Spartans on seven of 10 shooting with four rebounds. And then Asiana Basalo, 11 points, three assists. But Basalo, only four for 10. So that's really it for the Spartans. Megan Anderson has seven points on two of four shooting. Those are both threes and then uh, one of those threes resulted in a four point play in which she converted to get her to seven points. And then Annalise Benali, two of three from the field for six points. But really outside of Whitehead and Masala, the Spartans not getting much production. Benali and Anderson combined for four shot attempts. And those are the two other leading scores. Other than that, you have Sydney Lewis who has one point from the free throw line. That's just not gonna get it done. The Spartans have to get more people involved and they've gotta slow down the Buffalo uh, sh shooting performance that they've had. They did a little bit going into halftime. Buffalo was 0 for their last seven, two of their last 13. And entering halftime, they had a scoring drought of two minutes and four seconds. Whatever San Jose State was doing there, they've gotta, they've gotta continue to do that successfully and then so secure the defensive rebounds and limit those second chance points. Quite frankly, the Spartans probably lucky that it's only a seven point game right now at halftime. So that's where we stand here from the Provident Credit Union Event Center. 48 to 41, Buffalo leads San Jose State. We're at halftime, we'll return with the second half in just a few moments. You're watching San Jose State Women's Basketball on YouTube.
Third quarter about to get underway here from the Provident Credit Union Event Center. San Jose State trailed Buffalo by a score of 48 to 41. Daniel Barrera here on the call. And San Jose State, well, they've got some work to do. One thing to look for, Razia Potter, three fouls already. And Potter only averaging under uh, 20 minutes, just over 19 minutes a game this year. She's going to have to stay out of foul trouble in order to stay on the floor. Currently, Potter has played nine and a half minutes, so she's about halfway to her average. Not only that, but the Spartans, four offensive rebounds only, and uh, 13 rebounds total, 25 for Buffalo. Buffalo will start the second half with the ball. Same starters on the floor as when we uh, began this game. Same players on the floor, so the starters for both teams. We're underway here, Hall to Fair in between the rings. On Wuka, the left angle to Hall. Back to Fair on the right wing. Left-handed dribble, goes to the left mid post. And Fair called for traveling. Good defense there by Potter to stop her progress. And Fair turns it over. Good start for the Spartans. Let's see if they can get a bucket on this next possession. Basalo with it, shovels it to Rosia Potter. The pass deflected over to Whitehead, kicked out to Fiamea Hofoka who hits the three. San Jose State within four, 48 to 44. 9.20 to go in the third quarter. Fair on the left angle to Christie in the left corner. Hall back on the left free throw line extended. Fair looking and finds Hall. Hall calling for Adieye to set the pick, she does. And overhead heave pass to Anwuka, kicked out to Christie in the left corner and Christie is called out of bounds. And the ball changes possession again. San Jose State forces a second turnover in two possessions for Buffalo, and they have the ball right back. Basalo to Anderson. The Spartans down by four. Anderson, scoop layup through the lane. She's got the bucket, and she's fouled. So count it and send Anderson to the line. 48 to 46. Buffalo still leads San Jose State, but only by two. 8.49 to go in the third. And you can sense the momentum building and building and building for the Spartans. And it builds some more as Megan Anderson finishes the three-point play on the shooter's bounce free throw that drops down and in. Spartans trail by one. 8.40 to go in the third quarter. Fair now on the right side of the court. Cuts to the right and then goes to Hall. A corner three from the right, no good. Anderson the rebound for San Jose State. Hofoka races back to the near end. Finds Potter, left corner three. That's dead off the front of the iron and on Wuka with the board for Buffalo. That was a good look. The stroke just wasn't there. Hall with it now for Buffalo on the left side of the court. Fair to Onwuka, right corner three, rattles in and out. And Basalo secures the board. Basalo cutting through defenders through midcourt. Finds Safoka, right baseline drive, and the jumper was off balance and it's off the right side of the rim. Buffalo with the board, Hannah Hall to slow things down. And what happened here on Wuka? is Anwuka appears to uh, be in some discomfort or hurt. She is uh, being guided to the bench. I'm not sure what happened with Anwuka. But Anwuka checking out and she takes a seat on the end of the bench. Ariel Dixon to check back in. Well, with uh, Anwuka out, Christy also checked out, Hamilton back in. Spartans will have to try and capitalize here. So the game off to a, a frantic pace and now it slows down. 
7.47 to go in the third quarter, 48 to 47. And now they inbound the ball and Hall gets the ball back. Basalo went to pursue and that's a 10 second violation. So they did not restart the 10 seconds or three seconds. Ten second violation, a 6-0 run for the Spartans. Three turnovers for Buffalo, and Anderson hits a three from the right corner. San Jose State with its first lead, 50 to 48, under seven and a half to play in the third quarter. The Bulls have not scored yet in the third, and Hafoka called for a foul on Dixon. No, it's on Basalo. Masalo's second foul. The first team foul for the Spartans in the half. Megan Anderson, six of the Spartans, nine points in this third quarter. Buffalo back with it, and Walters draws the foul. She draw it on Whitehead? She did. Walters drove to the right side of the hoop and was fouled. So now Walters gets two shots here. So Buffalo will try and even things up. First free throw. Off the front of the iron, too soft. 7.22 left in the third. 50 to 48, San Jose State suddenly with the lead. And the second free throw by Walters tickles the twine. Anwuka checks back in for Dixon. One point game, San Jose State up 50 to 49. 7.22 to go in the third quarter. Afoka with it on the right side of the arc. Shovels to Potter. Potter, right box. She gets the layup to fall and she's fouled. Score it and send her to the stripe. And the Spartans now up by three, 52 to 49. Right now, an 11 to one run for the Spartans to begin this second half. Potter will try and complete the three point play. The free throw up and rattles home. Rizia Potter's got five on the night and she checks out of the ball game. Courtesy Clark back in. Nice work there by Potter. She also did not pick up a fourth foul. Now Buffalo with it on Wuka on the left angle. Christie to Fair on the left side. Defended by Anderson, right-handed dribble. Now between the legs to the left hand. Back to the right. Finds Walters on the right box and Walters weaves her way through traffic in the lane and gets the layup. The Bulls within two. 53-51, and a foul called on, on Wuka. As Basalo was the one who was fouled, and she checks out Marquez back in the game. 53-51, Spartans lead, 6.40 to go in the third. Marquez with it, left side dribble, Whitehead. The jumper from 17, just beyond the free throw line, and that's off target. Buffalo, back to the far end. Hall, bounce pass in the corner. Fair, launches a three, off the mark. Hafoka skies for the rebound and outworks the 6-3 Lauren Christie for it. Hafoka backs up a trailing three to Marquez and she buries it. Marquez from the right free throw line extended gives the Spartans a five point advantage. 6.05 to play in the third. Fair in between the rings. On Wuka, the left angle. On Wuka falls down. Oh, and she's caught. I think she drew the foul. Did she draw the foul? On Anderson, she did. Boy, I don't know about that. That's Anderson's first foul. It looked like On Wuka just lost her balance and fell down. I'm not sure where there was a foul there. Maybe the floor was a little slick. Boy, that's a tough call. 
So Onwuka goes to the line for two. First one up, good. Nothing but net for Onwuka. 5.55 to go in the third, 56 to 52. Second free throw is drained by Onwuka. She's got 17 tonight. Now San Jose State back with it. Benali has checked in for the Spartans. She receives it and then defers to Afoka. Sydney Lewis on the right elbow. Left-handed dribble, middle of the lane. Off the glass, can't get the layup to go. Clark is there, Clark gets the loose ball. Rips it away from Christie. San Jose State will have another opportunity. Benali to Afoka on the right side. Now Marquez will set things up from the logo. 10 on the shot clock, San Jose State's gotta go. Marquez on the right side and she's tripped as she goes up for the layup. And a foul is called. And it's on Fair. That's Fair's second foul. So Marquez heads to the line for two shots. Marquez on the season as the first free throw is good. Danae Marquez, that's her first free throw of the year. So she's perfect on the season. One for one. And, well, I jinxed that as she <laughs> misses the second free throw off the front of the iron, one for two. But the Spartans with a four point lead. 57 to 53, just over five minutes to go in this third quarter. Fair, top of the key. Nice crossover dribble, right of the point possession. Tried to launch a three, and then Marquez almost strips it. About five or six bodies on the floor, and we've got a held ball situation. And it looked like there was a little bit of shoving there in the pile on the scrum. Looked like Walters may have shoved one of the Spartans down. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Held ball situation, the Spartans get possession and they'll have the ball when we return. 4.56 to go in the third quarter. 57 to 53, San Jose State has come all the way back and they now lead. Stay with us. You're watching San Jose State Women's Basketball on YouTube. Back here at the Provident Credit Union Event Center, 57 to 53. San Jose State leads Buffalo and the Bulls. They've gone ice cold from three point land in the third quarter, one for five. Not only that, but they're turning the ball over at, a, uh, at an advantageous clip for the Spartans. San Jose State has scored 17 points off Buffalo turnovers. 10 Buffalo turnovers. Spartans taking full advantage. We're back to live action. San Jose State with it now. Benali, chest pass inside to Potter in the middle of the paint, and she throws the ball through traffic, and it's off Sydney Lewis' fingertips. Buffalo takes over possession. On the floor for San Jose State, Marquez, Benali, Clark, Lewis, and Potter. We'll get you Buffalo in just a moment. Fair with it for the Bulls. On Wuka in between the rings. Fair open, left corner three, and that's good. More from the left angle. And Buffalo right back in it within one. 
A nice pass from Potter to Lewis. Can't finish the first time, can't finish the second time. Three opportunities and Lewis cannot put any of them in from about two feet. Fair, another three from the left angle. That won't go. Clark rips down the board and Marquez back in. We're going to have four subs in for the Spartans at the next opportunity. Clark, a three from the left corner. Won't go. Offensive board by Potter. And then Potter is called for the loose ball foul. That's Potter's fourth foul. Boy, that's big. So we have substitutions abound for the Spartans. On the floor now, it's Whitehead, Potter, Hafoka, Basalo, and Anderson. And now Marquez going to sub in for Potter. As Potter has four fouls. They don't want her picking up the fifth. On the floor for Buffalo, Christy, Fair, Hall, Anwuka, and Walters. 3.51 to go in the third quarter, 57 to 56. San Jose State leads Buffalo by one. And what do we have an issue with here? And I think they're saying Marquez has to sub, sub back out. She can't sub right back in because she was taken out first and now they need a, an offensive sequence to go through. Well, if I'm Buffalo, I'm, I'm aiming right for Razia Potter and trying to get her another foul. We'll see if Buffalo does that. And if you're Potter, I say you just you just let the hoop go. As Walters hits the shot on the Buffalo possession. The Bulls back on top by one, 58-57. Potter through the lane. Potter with the layup on the left side, up and in, and she's fouled. 59-58. So Potter draws the foul. And she goes to the line, trying to complete the three-point play. Here it is. And it rattles home for Potter. And just like that, Potter now leaves the game, subs out, Marquez subs in. So it all worked out perfectly there for the Spartans. And they're up by two with under three and a half to play in the third quarter. Buffalo back with it. Walters to Hall on the right angle. Top of the key and then Wuka. Right mid-range jumper, won't go. The ball pinballs around, Whitehead ends up with it. Basalo racing ahead for San Jose State. Stops at the top of the key. Shoveled pass to Marquez, the three is pure. Danae Marquez with the big bucket and the Spartans are up by five. 250 left in the third. Now Buffalo back with it, Fair on the right side of the arc to the right, pardon me, the left side of the arc, the left corner now in Hall. To the right side in Anwuka. Baseline right drive to the right mid post. Shot put up there by Adieye and she's fouled on the shot attempt. Anderson charged with the foul. It's Anderson's second personal foul, the fifth team foul for San Jose State. At a yay yay. To the line, looking for her first points of the night. The native of Brampton, Ontario, Canada, can't hit the first shot, 0 for 1. Well, if you're the Spartans, with how much Buffalo has struggled from the free throw line in this game, being in the penalty, maybe not such a big deal. Second free throw is good. And it's now 63 to 59. Two and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Basalo back to the near end for the Spartans. She's double teamed by Fair and Adeyeye, and Adeyeye gets the turnover. Buffalo back to the far end. Fair behind the back dribble to Hall. Right-handed hip high dribble. Circles around and back to Fair on the right side of the court. To the left corner. And on Wuka. The jumper is short. Off the left side of the rim. Whitehead with the board and finds Basalo. Basalo has to go so the Spartans get it over the timeline. And she does. Gets a pick from Whitehead, drives all the way to the rack. Reverse layup, 
teardrops in off the back iron. And she's fouled. So score it and send Basalo to the stripe. 14 points. They get 13 points for Basalo. She has an opportunity to get 14 here. And she does as the leather meets the lace. 66 to 59, the Spartans up by seven. We have substitutions for the teams. We'll get you the lineups reset in just a moment. Hall with it now. On Wuka in between the rings. Fair on the left side. Right-handed dribble. Two on Wuka in the left corner. She stops. Christy terminates the dribble in the left corner. Back to Onwuka, left wing three. Off the front of the rim, Basalo gets the rebound. Basalo racing ahead, finds Marcus. Right wing three, she's got the bucket! San Jose State has a 10 point lead. After being down by as much as 14, they lead 69 to 59, 65 seconds to go in the third. Christy, backdoor pass, it's booted. Hafoka ends up with it. Hafoka running for the Spartans, stops, pops at the free throw line, and she hits. Hafoka with the deuce, and the Spartans lead by 12. 54 seconds remain in the third quarter. Timeout, Buffalo. An 8-0 run for the Spartans, a 14-1 run over the last two minutes and 37 seconds, and the Spartans are five of their last five. Buffalo has not scored a field goal in the last two minutes and 48 seconds. And San Jose State has held the Bulls to 11 points in this third quarter. Just an impressive defensive display by San Jose State here in the third. On the floor before we went to the break, it was Basalo, Hafoka, Marquez, Harris, and Anderson. And for Buffalo, it was Christy, Fair, Hall, Anwuka, and Aliyah Gaba had just checked in for her, for her first action of the evening. Basalo, 14 points. Seven assists. The double double watch is on for Asiana. Danae Marquez, 10 points and three assists. Megan Anderson, 13 points on four of six from the field and three of five from downtown. And for Buffalo, it's the two familiar scorers for them. DeAsia Fair, 17 points, but only on five of 14 shooting. And Teresa Anwuka. 17 points also on only five of 14 shooting. 54 seconds left in the third quarter. The Spartans with a 71 to 59 lead over Buffalo. They were down by 14 at one point and they have transferred that into a plus 12. Back to live action, Hall on the left side of the court for Buffalo. On Wuka, top of the key, goes to the left box, won't go. Harris secures the rebound for the Spartans. About a three second differential between shot and game clock. 26 seconds to go in the quarter. 20 on the shot clock. And Afoka and Harris is called for the offensive foul. She just laid out Hannah Hall there on a pick. So Harris, the 6'3 senior, just absolutely levels Hall, the 5'3 junior. Hall gets right back up and she runs the ball off the court for Buffalo. Shot clock's been turned off on Wuka on the left elbow to Fair. Fair drives right baseline to Hall in the right corner and Hall draws the foul on Harris again. Hand check foul on Harris, that's her second. So Basalo checks back into the game for Harris. Six seconds to go in the third. 
Since the Bulls are in the bonus, they will get two shots here. 71 to 59, first shot from Hall it is pure. Hannah Hall, right about on pace with her season average. She's got seven tonight. She averages over nine a game. And the second free throw, nothing but net. Eight points for Hall. Five seconds to go in the third. Basalo for the Spartans, drives to the hoop. Does not finish. Hoboka gets a deflection at the horn. And the jumper from about 10 feet is off the heel of the iron. But San Jose State, what a third quarter. They score 30 points to Buffalo's 13. Just complete domination in that third quarter. And they have a 10 point lead with 10 minutes remaining in this game. Stay with us for the fourth quarter. San Jose State leads Buffalo 71 to 61. You're watching San Jose State women's basketball on YouTube. Back at the Provident Credit Union Event Center, 71 to 61. San Jose State leads Buffalo, fourth quarter starting, and Hamilton hits a three for Buffalo right out of the break from the right wing. 71 to 64, San Jose State leads Buffalo. 9.40 to go, and Rosia Potter called for a travel on the stutter step dribble on the right side. So the Spartans turn it over, Buffalo back with it. In that third quarter, San Jose State shot 71% from downtown. And another three put up by Hamilton. And she hits again. And the Bulls are within four. 9.20 to go in the fourth. Basalo to the left side box. Whitehead finishes with two points there. The Spartans back up by six, 73 to 67. 9.05 to go in the fourth. Hamilton on the right side. And Benali, a mismatch there with Aliyah Gaba. Boy. And uh, Whitehead was nowhere near the, the low post. So Gaba gets the points and she's fouled by the smaller Benali. So Anderson checks in for Benali. Afoka checks in for Marquez. On the floor for Buffalo, it's Fair, Hall, Anhuka, Hamilton, and Gaba. For San Jose State, Potter, Anderson, Basalo, Whitehead, and Afoka. Gaba's free throw off the mark. Whitehead rips down the board on the right side. Now San Jose State with it. Hafoka, the jumper from the left corner, inside the arc, won't go. Buffalo running back with it. Hafoka tracks down Fair. The switch is made, now Basalo on her. Fair at the top of the key. Hall on the right side, pardon me, the left side. Bounce pass to Fair. Left-handed dribble, she almost loses it. Inside to Gaba. On the right mid post, and Whitehead just rips the ball away from her. Potter, left-handed dribble ahead to the left mid post. Now Hafoka, Basalo for the Spartans. On the right elbow. No look pass to Whitehead. Left baseline jumper short. And Buffalo back with it. 
Here comes Fair. Fair driving all the way to the rack, wildly overshoots it. It's off the glass, does not hit rim, and San Jose State retains possession and or regains possession, and now they slow things down. Whitehead on the left elbow. Anderson, left corner three, off the mark. Basalo gets the rebound. Reverse layup from right underneath the hoop. That won't go, and the rebound for Onwuka. The Spartans 0 for their last four from the field. Seven and a half minutes to play in this one. They lead by four. Hall on the right side. Gets a pick from Gaba. Fair. Takes it in the middle of the lane. Drives all the way to the rack. What a move. Skies it off the top of the glass down and in. And it's a two-point game. Now Potter with it. Through the lane. Potter with the layup of her own. And a little teardrop there. 75 to 71. The Spartans back up by four. Under seven minutes to play. Fair between the rings. Hamilton to Onwuka in the right corner. Bounce pass to Fair. Right of the point position, three, Fair wide open. And she hits it. Deasia Fair with 22, and we've got a one point ball game. San Jose State leads Buffalo, 6.45 to go in the fourth. And Buffalo calls time. And we'll go ahead and take time ourselves. 75 to 74, San Jose State leads Buffalo. 6.45 left in the fourth. Stay with us, this is San Jose State women's basketball on YouTube. Seventy-five, seventy-four. San Jose State with a one-point lead over Buffalo. Six forty-five to go in the fourth quarter. And Buffalo's gotten right back in this ball game, thanks to the three-point line, three for three from downtown. And San Jose State has had its most success against Buffalo when they've run them off that three-point line, where they have to to take a tough two. And well, they haven't done that here early on in the fourth quarter. Now back to live action, Hafoka puts it on the deck for the Spartans. Left mid post jumper is off the right side of the rim. Buffalo with the rebound. They'll look to take the lead on this next possession. 6.20 left in the fourth. The Spartans with a one point advantage. On Wuka to Fair on the right side. Over to the left side and Hall. Gaba with a left mid post hook. That won't go and Hafoka comes up with the loose ball. Basalo. In the middle of the paint, the floater from 12 feet is good. And Basalo now with 16 points. 16 points, eight assists for Basalo. Six of 14 from the field for her. Fair on the right side. Hamilton launches from the right corner. That won't go. And Hafoka gets the board. Marquez back the other way for the Spartans. Marquez stops. Kicks back to Hafoka. Finds Marquez to the right mid post. No look. Bounce pass inside to Lewis. And she can't finish from three feet. Out of bounds. It stays with San Jose State.
Kafoka checks out. Whitehead in. Basalo the bounce pass to Anderson. Now Lewis. Basalo in between the rings. The reigning Mountain West Conference Player of the Week. Oh, a backdoor pass to Lewis. Whitehead, then Anderson launches a three from the right side. Won't go, but Danae Marquez in there for the offensive rebound. The Spartans get extra time on the shot clock. Whitehead, middle of the post. Fadeaway jumper is good. Whitehead's got 18. She's three away from her career high of 21. And the Spartans extend the lead to five with under five to play. Fair to the free throw line. Hull almost loses the ball. Marquez goes for the ball and a foul is called on Marquez. So we will play on. I think we thought there was gonna be a media timeout. There was not. Fair to inbound to Hall. Over to Fair on the right side. She hoists up a three. Whitehead gets a hand in her face. Out there on the rim. And the second opportunity won't go for Buffalo. San Jose State secures the board. Basalo, a pass to the left corner. Anderson, the three, yes! Megan Anderson, 16 points. And the Spartans are up by eight. Just over four minutes to play, and that brought the crowd to its feet. Hall tries to answer. She can't. The loose ball to Hall, and she is hip checked out of bounds by Marquez, and the loose ball foul on Marquez. It's Marquez third. Potter checks out, and now Marquez checks. Pardon me. Potter checks in, Marquez checks out, and remember, Potter has four fouls. He can ill afford to pick a fifth one up. Hall with it for Buffalo. Fair on the left wing, drives to the left mid post, puts up a layup, won't go, loose ball, scurries around, Basalo, Lewis, Whitehead all on the floor, wide open is Fair. Right angle three, she's got it. Deasia Fair with 25 on the night. And the Bulls cut the lead of the Spartans to five. Now Basalo for the Spartans. A jumper in the middle of the paint, and that goes. Adriana Basalo now with 18. 3.12 to go in the fourth. The Spartans up by seven. Basalo intercepts it. And Basalo to Anderson, now Lewis. Lewis drives to the left box, she's fouled, cannot finish the layup. But Lewis will go to the line. 84 to 77. San Jose State leads Buffalo. 301 to go in the fourth. Two shots for Lewis, these are big. Here's the first one. It's good. Sydney Lewis with her second point of the game, looking for number three here. And looking for a nine point Spartan advantage. She's got it. And Potter and Lewis check out. Pafoka and Marquez back in. So the Spartans up by nine, under three minutes to go. Can they hang on? Hall on the right side for Buffalo. Fair launches a right corner three. Toilet Bulls in. Oh, Fair not going away, and neither are the Bulls. That's 28 for Fair. She's three off her career high of 31. And the Spartans lead by six, 86 to 80, two and a half minutes to play. Marquez. To the right side, now Hafoka on the right wing. Inside to Whitehead, spin move in the restricted area. Cannot finish the layup and the loose ball off Hafoka's fingertips. Out of bounds to Buffalo. 2.25 left in the fourth. 
San Jose stayed up 86 to 80. Hall brings it up the court for the Bulls. Hall on the right side. Left-handed dribble on Wuka to Hall. Left corner three, that's an air ball. But the loose ball is picked up by Walters. She can't get it, and then Whitehead ties up on Wuka underneath the hoop. And that's a foul on Whitehead. Well, Whitehead was going for the ball, but she was on the back of Unwuka and kind of bear hugged her to try and get to the ball. There's just, there's just no way to not call that. So the second foul on Whitehead. Back baseline pass incoming from Fair. And that's a, is that a five second violation? No, Buffalo calls timeout before the violation and good defense there by San Jose State. 202 left in regulation. San Jose State up 86 to 80. Well, Buffalo has just gone ice cold. Two for their last 10. And they, they shot so well in the first quarter. And since then, it, it's kind of evened out. They're back to only 40% from the field. San Jose State, 44% from the field. And Buffalo, if they end up losing this game, they're gonna point back to the free throw line. They're 14 of 21. And right now they're they're down by six. And if you don't make your free throws, it's awfully hard to, to win a game, especially on the road. Fair, chest pass into Hall, we're back underway. Putting it on the deck is Unwuka. Right drive in the paint, and Unwuka finishes for two more points. Four point game now. Basalo to Marquez, San Jose State with it on the near end. Whitehead, the right mid post. Now Marquez will set things up again. Anderson launching a three from the left corner. And that's short off the left front iron. Buffalo, back on the other end with it, fair. Hall will set up from the logo. Under 90 seconds to play. San Jose State trying to hold on for what would be Probably the signature win of the season for them thus far. On Wuka to Fair. Hamilton, top of the key. Takes a jumper at the free throw line. Won't go. Marquez on the board. And now one minute to play. Pasalo to Potter on the left side. Anderson open a three. Left corner. She's got it. 89 to 82. San Jose State leads by seven with 53.9 seconds to go. Megan Anderson, when San Jose State has needed the three, she has delivered. And Anderson with 19 points on six of 11 shooting, five of nine from downtown. Anderson is three points away from her career high. And Adriana Basalo is one assist away from her second straight double-double. 18 points and nine assists. Tyra Whitehead, 18 points and seven rebounds. All five players on the floor for the Spartans, all in double figures. Potter with 10, Basalo with 10, Whitehead with 18, Marquez with 10, and Anderson with 19. Well now Hafoka on the floor in place of Potter. Back to live action. Hamilton launches a three from right of the point position and she hits. 89-85, this game not over yet. 40 seconds remain. Marquez, baseline right drive and then a reverse layup. So Marquez scores and the Spartans now lead 91 to 85. 31 seconds to go. The three launched by Hamilton off the right side. Rebound to Buffalo. Hamilton will try another three. She draws a foul from beyond the arc on Marquez. So three shots upcoming for Hamilton. And Hamilton from the line this season, only a 50% free throw shooter. And they, I think they're going to review to, to see if it was going if it's going to be three shots or two. And 
it is three shots. Shot clock's been turned off. First shot for Hamilton. She's got it. And really, Hamilton needs all of these. It would make it a one possession game. Second free throw. Doinked off the back iron. 23.8 seconds remain. The Spartans up by five, 91 to 86 in the fourth quarter. Over the Buffalo Bulls. The third free throw, short. Whitehead gets the rebound. And timeout called by San Jose State. 22.4 seconds to go. And the Spartans, well, the big key here, just protect the basketball. Two possession game with 22.4 remaining. We mentioned in our pregame how this was viewed as possibly a signature win by the San Jose State coaching staff. And uh, we also indicated how we thought it could be a uh, statement win for the Spartans. When it comes down to selection committees and possible postseason appearances, generally the Mountain West Conference is a one bid conference. But Buffalo, who has been to uh, the NCAA tournament the past few seasons and has had four straight 20 win seasons, if you're San Jose State and you can get a win against a program the caliber of Buffalo, that will impress some on the selection committee. It just will, there's, there's no other way to state it. And uh, for the Spartans, I'm sure that looms large for them here tonight. Whitehead to trigger it in, she finds Hafoka. Hafoka is grabbed on the back of the shorts by Anwuka. And Hafoka So Anwuka called for the foul. That's the third foul. And Hafoka saying that Anwuka tugged the back of her shorts. I think they're trying to get a flagrant. They do not. 91-86, 20.9 seconds to go. And back into Hafoka. Hafoka's fouled. Is it by Hall or Anwuka this time? It's on Hall. Second personal foul on Hall. 19.5 left. Whitehead finds Basalo. Basalo fouled. And Basalo almost tripped up. And Deja Fair actually crashed to the floor there. And that foul on Fair. Well, Fair got the worst of that contact. 18.4 left. And they're going to wipe up the floor. And uh, there was a, a, a event center crew out on the floor wiping up the perspiration on the floor while the game was about to, to start again. A little miscommunication there. Whitehead throws into Hafoka. Hafoka fouled by Anuka immediately. And now the Spartans in the bonus. So a free throw contest the rest of the way. 17.6 seconds to go. That was uh, executed beautifully by Buffalo to get the quick fouls. Really only about five seconds, I'd say, went off the clock. And a focus first free throw is good. The senior from Hawaii Lending a veteran presence here in this game. <laughs> and the second free throw is up and good. And you can't help but just laugh at the poise of Fiamea Hafoka on the free throw line. 93 to 86. San Jose State leads Buffalo in a dandy of a ball game here from San Jose. 17.6 seconds remain. Foka, seven points. Basalo, it's official now. 18 points and 10 assists. She's also got four rebounds, but Basalo, 
her second straight double-double. Tyra Whitehead still has a shot at a double-double herself. 18 points and eight rebounds, depending on how many loose balls there are in the last 17.6 seconds. 93 to 86. San Jose State looking to improve to four and two on the year and looking to hand the Buffalo Bulls their first loss of the season. And this crowd on its feet. Fair to inbound for Buffalo. The bounce pass is to the backcourt. Hamilton picks it up. She's gonna have to run the length of the floor. This will burn a lot of time. Fair launches a three from the left angle. Off the backboard, Hafoka secures the board and she's fouled by Hall. Nine seconds even remaining. And Hafoka will go back to the charity stripe. 93 to 86. So Hafoka to get two shots here. 93-86. The first one rattles home. Afoka took three dribbles and two rotations down and in. 94 to 86. Nine seconds left, looking for the nine point lead. And the leather meets the lace. 95 to 86. Hall brings it up the court. Five seconds to go. On Wuka, the jumper. She's got the bucket. 2.4 seconds remaining. Basalo receives the inbound pass, and this game is over. San Jose State hands Buffalo their first loss of the year. The Spartans improve to four and two on the season. And they defeat the Buffalo Bulls 95 to 88 in what was a thriller here at the event center. And we hope to have a post game interview coming up in just a few moments with a Spartan player. San Jose State with a huge victory. And the Spartans just a big time win and we're gonna be joined here by Asiana Basalo. Uh, Asiana, a big time win for you guys. You hand Buffalo their first loss and you guys came back from 14 down. How did you do it? I just wanna say that we played the best defense we did all game and we rebounded the ball. Our guards got up in there and rebounded the ball. Now you, second consecutive double-double for you. Uh, 18 points, 10 assists. The distribution from you has just improved with every game throughout the season. What's been the key to your improvement in distributing the ball? You're probably gonna get tired of me, but my teammates give me their best and I give them my best. So whenever I'm not scoring, doing other things, they got me. I don't think any Spartan supporters are going to get tired of you on a post-game interview because it means the Spartans have won. Uh, Spartans four and two, you had Buffalo their first loss. What's next for this team? Just uh, keep on going from here, I'd assume. We're taking it one game at a time. So our next opponent is San Diego. And so we're just gonna prep for them and we're just taking it one game at a time. And I'm just saying that people are realizing what's going on now. Adriana Basalo, best of luck on the next game. Congrats on the win, big win. Thank you. That was Adriana Basalo with the San Jose State Spartans. She's fired up, we're fired up and San Jose State is four and two on the year. Well, if people didn't notice before, they should surely take notice now. San Jose State with a very, very good basketball team and they put up almost triple digits tonight as they defeat the Bulls 95 to 88. That will do it for our broadcast here from the Provident Credit Union Event Center. I'm Daniel Barrera. Once again, the final score, San Jose State 95, Buffalo 88. Our next broadcast will once again be on YouTube. San Jose State against San Diego, a matinee affair on Saturday, 2 p.m. And then following that game, 7 p.m., 
we will have the San Jose State men's basketball team. They'll be facing off against Portland State. I'm Daniel Barrera for the entire crew here at the Provident Credit Union Event Center. Have a good night, everybody. The Spartans win 95 to 88. Good night.